So usually tasks, now today I told you tasks, I organize it in my Microsoft to do. Okay. Now, sometimes I like to come here because here you will have uh, all my planning for the week. Okay. This is my routine. And then these are the key important things related to my goals. So that help me focus. And then I will transfer this into my Microsoft to do. Yeah. Now, other than that, these are the other areas, projects. Okay. So it depends on what are you, how do you want to organize your project? You can create your own templates. Okay. On the project. So if you're interested, learn how to, I mean, what kind of project template you can create, just leave a comment right below or create another video on that. So in your project, then you can have your whatever project uh, X, Y, Z. Yeah. I can put in here. All right. Names and what are the things, right? So what are the key objectives of your project, your project charter, okay, and your plan. Now you can insert graphs or photo or even tables, right? So even when you come over here, now I love to draw or say or write, yeah? So especially if you don't have the time, then just write it and you can organize your information later, right? You want tables, you can always have tables like this, uh, to be three, okay, selling charming, and deadline, and, and more. You can put in your tables, right? Now, post area here, like what I say is, you can put in here, right? These areas is the, let's say you're in charge of, uh, okay, I can just put in here, rename it, this as, look at the care of supply chain, right? So everything related to supply chain I'll put in here. So anything, let's say about warehouse uh, expansion, okay? Now, if you have a lot, you want to split, then by all means you can, right? Let's say, for example, I'll, I will create another new section. Okay. And then I will, you want to put the areas in front or not, it is totally up to you. Let's say, for example, I want to choose another warehouse section. Okay. Now, if you have all this, and uh, let's say this is originally in here, I can so I just put some notes here. I can move this, uh, move or copy this to, all right, the demo warehouse right over here. I just move it right over here. So here will be empty. You can see this. It's moved here already. Yeah. Now, if you have a lot of areas, okay, what you can do is that you just right click here. Do you see new section group? Now you create a new section group. Yeah. So this is, let's say, a section group. Uh, just rename it. So this is supply chain. And under that, I can move warehouse. All right, I can just move it right over here. Then okay. I can move this right over here. See, all under this area. Now, that's why I say, do not worry, let's create your own section and then uh, you can, right? Let's say, for example, this and this two. Here, I got no page. Let me just create one page. Okay, self -loading. Yeah, then. I can actually merge in another section. Do you see that? All right? Let's say merge into warehouse. Okay. All right, let's delete. You see the sample will be over here. So the area supply chain is no longer there, right? 
So it's all merged under here. Now you want to create section. By all means, you can create it here. Yeah. So you have a new section here. Let's say, let me rename it again. Let's say this ABCD. All right. Now, if I want to get it out from the section, I just drag here and then I can move it right over here. It's very simple how to organize your work. Okay. So I hope this video will show you how to organize uh, your work using OneNote. Now, try it. And then if you like this, right, just give us a thumbs up and then uh, subscribe to our channel because every week we create uh, content like this to help you improve your work productivity.